Hey everybody, and welcome to the first video in my Outfit Studio tutorial series. The goal of these tutorials is to take you from a beginner who has never even opened the program before to an advanced user who can do pretty much whatever you want to do with your Skyrim outfits. If you currently use and perhaps struggle with Blender, I encourage you to give Outfit Studio a try. I have made the switch myself, and now I use Outfit Studio almost exclusively for my 3D outfit work. Outfit Studio is an amazing tool, and in this video I want to give you a flavor of all the different things you can do with it. And I'd like to explain how you can best use these tutorials for your specific situation, whether you also use Body Slide or not. Here are the topics I'll be covering. Use the video chapters or timestamps in the description to skip to specific parts as you wish. I have created a companion mod for this tutorial series called Simply for Practice on the Nexus. It contains everything you need to do the exercises in the videos right along with me. Download, install, and activate it as you would any other mod. The link is provided in the description. Let's start off by making sure everyone understands what these tools are for. You'll mostly hear about Body Slide because that's the primary program, and it's probably what most people use the mod for. But the mod actually contains two different programs that do two different things. Body Slide is a program that will automatically reshape outfits to whatever sort of body shape you want. We can now each play a character that looks the way we want. As with anything, there are some limitations to this. Most importantly, an outfit has to be body slide compatible in order for this to work. And you can only morph between bodies that use the same base shape, like CBBE to another CBBE based shape, UNP to another UNP based shape, or Himbo to another Himbo based shape, and so on. Another important limitation is that because it's automatic, and dependent on the quality of both the outfit and the morphing sliders that were created, the conversions aren't always brilliant, but Body Slide itself is a powerful and amazing tool, and if you are looking to personalize your own favorite body shape, then it's definitely the way to go. Now that's pretty much all I'm going to say about Body Slide because at the moment I don't use it. I also don't know that much about it, so I'm not planning to make any videos for it. If you do a quick search, you can find lots of videos about using Body Slide, and there is extensive documentation available from the mods page. There is also a Discord channel with extremely helpful moderators, and I encourage you to join that if you need help with either Body Slide or Outfit Studio. This tutorial series is dedicated to teaching you how to use Outfit Studio, the second program that comes packed in the mod. Outfit Studio can be used to tweak meshes, fix clipping, make mashups, weight paint, zap out parts of an outfit, make ground models, and so on. It can be used along with Body Slide, or it can be used as a standalone program all on its own. Outfit Studio is essentially a 3D modeling program but it's much less intimidating than something like Blender or 3ds Max. It's not as powerful as those programs, but unless you want to create new models from scratch, you'll probably be able to do almost everything you want with Outfit Studio. It allows you to modify the 3D meshes that make up an outfit, either as part of a body slide project or completely separate from body slide to make standalone NIFs and Outfit Studio can serve as a translator tool to take a mesh that was created in Blender or 3ds Max and Skyrimify it so that it works in the game. You may be wondering at this point what exactly can be done with Outfit Studio. Here are examples of things that I've done so far. It can be used as an improved visualization tool to view or compare outfits and bodies and it's more user-friendly and flexible than NIFScope for this. You can create mashups by combining parts of existing outfits in new ways, 
And it's also better than NIFScope for this. You can fix clipping where unwanted bits, like the skin, show through an object. You can smooth a lumpy mesh, or you can make a smooth mesh more lumpy. You can fix an object's weighting so that it moves better with the body. You can resize a mesh. You can move a mesh from one part of the body to another. Mirror a mesh to either swap to the other side or to have a copy on both sides of the body. Convert from one body size to another to support the in-game weight sliders. Convert from one body type to another, or even from one sex to another. You can make ground models, including flattened or repositioned meshes. And a number of other things. Throughout the rest of this video series, I'll be walking through most, if not all, of these functions. And once you get used to how it works, I'm sure you will think of even more cool things that you can do with Outfit Studio. If you are a body slide user, these tutorials can help you become better acquainted with its companion tool, Outfit Studio. You will need to use Outfit Studio to tweak sliders and meshes, to fix clipping, to zap out parts of the body or outfit, and so on. Almost all of the techniques shown in these videos will be applicable to you, and they will give you greater confidence in using the tool to make better body slide projects. When watching these tutorials, the main difference for you as a body slide user is that you will not need to worry about making both size 0 and size 1 NIFs. And you can skip the checking in NIF scope steps because you won't be exporting NIFs. You will only need to create one size, and you'll be saving it as a body slide project rather than creating NIF files. If you use body slide already, I assume that you know the workflow for making and saving projects. I do not use body slide, so I will not be speaking to that process. For a long time, I thought that Outfit Studio had to be used alongside BodySlide. It does not. It is a great 3D modeling tool in its own right. In fact, at the time of making this video, I do not use BodySlide at all. I use Outfit Studio exclusively, and I create outfits and accessories as standalone NIF files, not BodySlide projects. So these tutorials are made specifically with that in mind. If you don't use Body Slide either, then follow the tutorials exactly as they are presented. You will need to worry about two sizes for each NIF to support weight sliding in Skyrim. And you will need to export the NIF files and put them in the right place with the right naming conventions in order for them to work properly. We will cover all of that in detail throughout the series. Either way, the information presented in these tutorials is relevant for making successful outfits for Skyrim. The techniques I'll be showing work exactly the same whether you are using Outfit Studio to make body slide projects, or whether you are just using it as a 3D modeling tool without ever touching body slide. Another misconception I had for a long time was that you could only use Body Slide and Outfit Studio with the CBBE body. But this is not true. You can use whatever body you want with Outfit Studio, and even with Body Slide. There are some rules you have to follow for it to work right, and we'll get more into that as we work through the series. I personally use UNP, simply because I prefer that body shape to CBBE so that is what you'll see in the tutorial videos. It is also the body used in the Simply for Practice companion mod, but you do not have to use the UNP body for these tutorials. You should choose whatever body that you like best. Outfit Studio doesn't care. 
and everything I'll be showing you in these tutorials will apply no matter which body you use. If you don't use CBBE, you'll need to grab a few support files from that body mod in order to make Outfit Studio work properly. But you don't have to install CBBE for this. Refer to the installation video in this series for more on that. There are a lot of videos and documentation available on how to use BodySlide. There seem to be less videos about Outfit Studio, but still some good ones out there. I point you especially to these resources which I found quite helpful in my quest to learn. And there is a BodySlide and Outfit Studio Discord channel that is extremely helpful and friendly. I have put links to all of these in the description, and I encourage you to check them out. You may be wondering why I am making more videos if there are already some good ones out there. The reason is that I had a hard time finding methods for exactly what I wanted to do, and I often had a hard time finding answers to my specific questions. So I want to share the things that I've learned in case it helps someone else who is struggling. Now this means you'll be getting my version of how to do things, which may not necessarily be the fastest or the best way, but I'll show you what has worked for me. If anyone watching has constructive criticism, advice, experience, or knowledge to share, then please tell us. I welcome all comments, corrections, and clarifications that are made in a respectful way and in the spirit of sharing what we know to help each other learn and grow. With that, I'll close out for now and say thanks for watching. I hope you will find the rest of the series helpful and enjoyable. See you again soon. Bye.